We are here in Georgia on Fort Benning on the campus of the U.S. Army Marksmanship Unit. We are talking to Sergeant Glenn Eller. Sergeant, it is good to see you, sir. Uh, good to see you, too. You are a gold medalist in the 2008 Olympics. Tell us about your sport and tell us about that experience. Uh, my sport is men's double trap. It's you know two clay targets flying away from you at a high rate of speed, and we shoot 150 of them. Um, and the last Olympics was great. It was my third one. I was fortunate enough to take a gold medal. Took the experience that I had and uh, what the Army gave me over the previous two years before that, and was able to put everything together and come back with a gold. When you when you do successive Olympics like that. Does it just the the knowledge just build upon itself to where you just get more and more comfortable every four years? I think it really does. You actually know what's going to happen. You know how people are going to react, and um, and you know the first time you see it, you're like, oh, that was kind of a fluke. You know, next time you're like, oh, maybe there's something to this. The third time it happens, you realize that's what happens at the Olympic Games. Right. So, um, you know, so I, I I've got a good idea of what's going to happen there, and it's, it gives you confidence knowing for your training for everything, knowing what you have to do. Yeah. Now, of course, winning the gold medal has to be your top experience, but what are some of your favorite experiences from, from competitive shooting? I mean, been able to travel all around the world, see everything, made great friends, um, you know, managed to join the Army out of it and been here for six years. Um, you know, I don't think I can pick one. I just think the whole life that shooting has given me has been just amazing. All right, well, then pick your favorite location you've been to. Minsk, Belarus. <laughs> Why? Um, Nice scenery. <laughs> <laughs> I think we understand. Why, <laughs> why did you pick uh, double trap? Why, you know, when you, you know, when you were shooting, you had to, of course, pick one day just decide on a discipline you were special at, uh, and you were going to take on. Why double trap? Uh, the main reason was because it was brand new. Uh, it was first contested in 1996 in Atlanta, so I started. I was coming into the international games in '97, so was I going to pick a game that was been around forever? And you had Lance Bade and Josh Lakato shooting it. Plus, you know, Brett Erickson. I mean, you had all these different people shooting that game that were great, and they've been doing it forever, and you had double trap. Been in the Olympics once. Right. No one was specializing in it. So I chose that one, you know. And I was one of the, I was like the second person to really specialize in shooting double trap. Everyone else shot everything else. But does that put you at a disadvantage because you, you can't really scout the competition as easily as you can now? No. Not really. It's. I mean, now everyone specializes in one event. You know, you have to because to be able to hang with, you know, myself or Sergeant Richmond or Sergeant Holgeen or you know Billy Crawford, you have to be able to. You got to do one thing. When you go over there and you wear, you you know, you wear the flag every day. But when you go over there and you wear the colors of the country, um, what does that feel like? Uh, it's it's a once in a lifetime experience. You know, I've been fortunate enough to this will be the fourth time to do it, but it's a fourth in a lifetime experience, right? <laughs> you know, but it's one of those things that you know you never know if it's going to be your last one. You never know what's going to happen, so you, you know, take it in, enjoy every moment of it because it's it's an honor to be able to be one of the few people that uh, get to represent the United States in the Olympic Games. Now, of course, um, you know there'll be people who are watching this on NBC, on TV, or online. What's the best way to enjoy? You know, if you're just a viewer at home, what's the best way to enjoy it and, and follow along and and, and, and learn about the, the sport that uh, it, all the different um, disciplines? Um, I think get on. You know, that's one thing. You can watch all the finals online. Um, if you're a fan of it, get on. Look at the people's Twitter and Facebook accounts. See what they're doing. See what they're saying about it. Um, Go to USA Shooting's website. Go to ISF website. There's all kinds of stuff that has information on us, and you know, it's you know, the information's out there. People just got to want to see it. 